above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above the nations. And his glory above the nations. Give God the highest praise. Acknowledge him always. Let all the people say halle, halle, halle. Acknowledge him always. Let all the people say, Halle, 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 Halle,
Just gotta catch my breath for a minute. Sing in that song. Got you to exercise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're gonna be reading Psalms 107. And we're going to read it responsibly down to verse 31. If you have it and when you have it, please say amen. Psalms 107. Starting at verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. gathered them out of the land from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. For he satisfieth the lonely soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Because they rebelled against the words of God, and contemned the counsel of the Most High. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble and he saveth them out of their distresses. that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. They that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters. For he commandeth and raises the stormy winds which lifteth up the waves thereof. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wit's end. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still. We're going to read verse 31 together and we're going to read it with the enthusiasm that we should pray, how we should praise the Lord. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. May the word of God continue to be blessed. Before you sit down, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Clap your hands by beginning to praise the Lord. Before you sit down, today is a day of celebration. Somebody say celebrate. I know the choir is coming right behind me, but we are coming to celebrate 32 years of service by our pastor and his wife, Bishop Edgar Darnell Robinson, Jr., and First Lady-elect Vanessa Robinson. Put your hands together. Give God praise for them. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Give me some drums. Give me some organ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give him one more round of applause. Come on. Glory, glory, glory. Tell your name and we come to celebrate. Walk around and tell somebody we come to celebrate. Get up out of your seat and tell somebody else we came to celebrate. Come on, tell them we come to celebrate. We came to celebrate. We came to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. He's 
great and mighty. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, tell them we came to celebrate. Yes, hallelujah. Receive the Christ Gospel Mass Choir.
free people to tell them he's done great things. Come on, just tell them he's done great things. He's done great things. He's done great things. He's done great things. Oh, great things. Mighty, mighty great things. Yeah, my soul said yes. Hallelujah. Tell somebody else, you don't know like I know. He's done great things in my life. Hallelujah. Give God another hand of praise. Hallelujah. My soul says yes. Can I get a witness? My soul said yes. Why does my soul say? Because he's done great things. Somebody shout great things. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. I told you we came to celebrate this morning. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. My, my, my. The songwriter said God is a good God. Thank you, choir. Hallelujah. He is a good God. Yes, he is because he's done great things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Oh, yes. My, 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 my. Great things in my life. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and tell them I know what he's talking about. He's done great things for me too. Woo, hallelujah. If he's done great things for you, jump up on your feet and shout hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Woo, my, yeah. Just, just for a few seconds. Just a little praise break. Just a little praise break. Hey. Come on, put your hands in. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Praise him for what he has done. Praise him for what he is doing. Praise him for what he's going to do. Come on and give him praise. done great things. Look back over your life and see where God has brought you from. And you can say he has done great things. Yes. One, one two, three. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Tell your neighbor, I don't look like what I've been through. Because God has been good to me. I don't look like what I've been through because God has been good to me. Woo! Yeah! Glory! Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Ah, glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody came to praise him this morning. Somebody came to celebrate this morning. Somebody came to thank God for how good he's been this morning. When I look back over my life, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We're still celebrating the man and the woman for 32 years of service to the Lord. Give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Oh, glory to God. We got to move on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you know God is a good God, you can truly say, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're so glad this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just praising God. Hallelujah. She's just giving God the glory. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Ain't no harm in praising him. Hallelujah. Let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Wonderful Jesus, bright morning star, lily of the, you know it, valley, that's who you are, yeah. Wonderful Jesus, wonderful, yeah, Jesus, thou art so true, are so true, sing it again, wonderful, wonderful Jesus, bright morning, star, yeah, he's a lily of the valley, lily of the valley, that's who you are. That's who you are. I'm so glad I know you. Know him. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Thou art so true. True. Hallelujah. Give God another hand of praise. If you know him, you can clap louder than that. If he's been good to you, you can clap louder than that. If he's your savior, you can clap louder than that. Hallelujah. We're blessed this morning to have with us Apostle Floyd Nelson, the preacher, the praiser, the dancer, the prophet, the apostle. We are so glad to have him with us this morning. Put your hands together for him. Pastor Karen, so glad to have you with us this morning. Evangelist Nelson, his lovely wife, is so glad to have you with us. She's going to present our preacher this morning. I believe Pastor Fleming is in the audience somewhere. Ah, yes. Give her a hand. So glad to have her with us this morning. Amen, amen. Yes. Praise God for all of you who came out to celebrate our Bishop and First Lady's 32nd pastoral anniversary. He is now the elected bishop of the 21st Episcopal District of the state of New Jersey. The Honorable Bishop Edgar Darnell Robinson, Jr., you ought to be standing on your feet and giving God praise for what he has done in his life. And First Lady Elect Vanessa Robinson and their daughter Angela, give God praise for the first family this morning. Oh, Cole, come on, you can give praise. Praise is fitting. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He has done great things. He has done great things wherein we are glad. And how many were here to celebrate on yesterday? Didn't we have a grand, grandiose time in the Lord? Topped it off by the powerful message from Bishop Ella that set our souls on fire. Hallelujah. Tell, tell somebody the best is yet to come. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. At this time, Evangelist Nelson is going to come and present our preacher of the hour. Receive her with a round of applause, please.
Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Let's praise the Lord, Love Center. Come on. Come on, because God is worthy. He is worthy of our praises. Hallelujah. We certainly give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And to this very fine couple on this morning, Bishop, don't have to say Shepherd and Bishop no more. <laughs> oh, that's really something. <laughs> Shepherd, I mean, Bishop and Lady Robinson. We love you. And we appreciate you and all that it is that God is doing through you. Um, this is 32 years, 32 years celebration. And I was just thinking, gosh, you must have been a toddler <laughs> or, <laughs> or in junior high or something <laughs> when you started this journey. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so wonderful to be blessed of the Lord, to serve this in this capacity for 32 years. And I know you didn't just start that 32 years ago. It was even before then that you started out on your journey with the Lord. Hallelujah. But, and we're just grateful to be a part of it. We wanted to be here on yesterday. It was our plan and our desire to be here on yesterday, but official business prevented us from doing so. And so after our official business was finished, we set out on the highway to make our way here to be with you on today. Hallelujah. And we're just glad to be in your midst. I know you had a great time, but I'm here to introduce what's going to happen in a few minutes. <laughs> we have among us this morning a very fine, very fine, very fine. Just leave it at that. <laughs> but this man of God is second to none. Hallelujah. And I thank God we've been walking together for the past 48 years. And God is good. Hallelujah. He's done so many wonderful things. I should have asked him. Before I came up here, now, what do you want me to say about you? <laughs> because he's done so much, I can't tell it all. But I'll just tell you a couple of highlights that um, he has founded and established. He says this is 31 churches during his ministry. He is the father of three. They're all adult now. And we pray to God for them. And he... Uh, has um, traveled the world, coast to coast, north to south. He just returned a couple of weeks ago from Seoul, Korea. And uh, after that, he went to uh, Trinidad and Tobago, West Indies. And after that, journey to Jamaica, West Indies. So his passport is so full that before it was time for renewal, they had to put some more pages in it because he has traveled, not on vacation, not on vacation, but for business for the king. And so uh, he is now, he is now the presiding bishop and chief apostle of the International Bible Way Churches of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, it is my proud pleasure to bring to the podium none other than Apostle Floyd e. Nelson Sr. Put your hands together and give God a praise. Praise the Lord, everybody. I, I think she knows me pretty good. You may be seated. We certainly honor the Lord today. I'm excited now, really, Bishop and Lady Robinson, they're the good children. Uh, he's had two presiding bishops come to him in two days. Appreciate, and from the day I met you and Lady.
maybe not even take it for granted or whatever. And I don't take it for granted when God put people in my life. You are Edgar Explorer. Y'all know who that is. See, there are some people that you only know on a professional basis. But we are friends. We, we, we come from the same place. At any particular point, just want to hear each other's voices. Amen. And I, I certainly appreciate the relationship. And I also appreciate the lockdown. <laughs> I am not leaving this island or this area till I get my CD. <laughs> But it's a blessing, and I am just overjoyed to see what God is doing with these two humble people. When you meet them, you would never know how God has blessed them and the things that God has blessed them to do, because it's not by the book. There's some people in God's country who are the book. Praise the good Lord. But I thank God for this brother. And uh, it just seems as though he and I were rising together. I mean, I'm the only Saddle Saddle rider in this church in Jesus' name. <laughs> but I thank God for what he's doing. New Jersey has a new fresh vision. And I heard that they said, fellas, we want to get with God. So there's some more levels. I never thought This day would ever come. I never even had it in my view that God had a plan for me. And when you work for God, it's unheard of what God can call you to do. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how to work with God. When they installed me, Bishop Fitzgerald, when they gave me the mic, I took my miter off and looked down. Because I told them before the election, if you don't want a bishop that prays, then you don't want to work for me. Amen. This position means nothing if it prevents me from giving God praise. Oh, God, I thank you. Now, let me get to the word. I'm certainly thank God for the pastors that are present. God bless you, my dear pastor, whatever have your name. But I, not at the same this time, but you look down so soon. I don't know why he hasn't made any CDs or And don't quote your age because Grandma Moses didn't even start thinking until she was in her late 60s. <laughs> he has an anointing in his voice. Amen. And, and I, I really appreciate that. Let me say this and then we're going to read. When you can't celebrate the anointing on someone else, you got a problem. Amen. So some of those songs that you have written that they don't know about, tell me I'm telling the truth. There are songs that God has put in your spirit. They weren't for you, they were for us. You got to release them so we can enjoy them. <laughs> I love you, sir. Appreciate you. Let's go to the book. Psalm 103. And I promise 
So when they continued to ask him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again, he stooped down and went on the ground. And they heard him, and they which heard him, being convicted by their own out one by one, getting at the elders even to the least. And Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus lifted up himself and saw the woman and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? No man condemned you? And she said unto she said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. In Psalms one oh three and verse eight. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. And as far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgression from us. Say to your neighbor, say, neighbor, because of mercy, I am free to go. Mm. Now, the interesting thing, and I was dealing with, with the 32 years. Biblically, the number 32 means covenant. Uh, your teeth, 32 of them, have a covenant with your stomach. Oh, really? Really? The covenant is it will not allow food to get to your stomach that has not been prepared by your mouth. Are y'all with me? You have to understand this. Covenants are usually made between equals. When you make a covenant to build this building, there was money and the builder. So the covenant was, you build, I pay. But when you have a covenant that's being made, that's unequal. What in the world could we offer Jesus to die for us? I think my praise section is over here. <laughs> Sometimes our responses are as though we deserve what we got. It bothers me when we're in a holiness church where you've got to sing at least 10 songs before you can get a real praise going. But when I got saved, we really didn't have all of these instruments, and I appreciate this. But we had a whole upright piano that didn't have keys. 
some of the strings was gone. We had a big old bass drum, and the sister that played it had no idea of syncopation. <laughs> she hit it like she felt it. <laughs> but somewhere in there, that can I thank you? That praise would overshadow. Mm. Now, they would say the Shekinah glory. It was just the dust in the floor that we beat our jump. Some of you old times remember said the Shekinah glory. But we had a motive for coming. I remember that we didn't have chairs in the church, so we brought chairs from home. And uh, they had those pillowcases they put on the back so they would, all of them would pretty much look alike. Y'all ain't been back that far. <laughs> but the idea for us coming was to give God glory. <laughs> and sometimes we have to be careful when God begins to bless us that we become more involved in the blessing than the blesser. David, in writing this Psalms, it seems that he had matured quite a bit. And he's talking about the things that God had done through Moses. And then he talks about, bless the Lord. Watch what he says, oh, my soul. Now, I, I find this, that many times our blessings are in our voice box. We know the words and we know the proper time to inject them. Preach, Bishop. But it does not resonate with God until it comes from a place beyond your voice box. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh God, I thank you. And in order for that, I feel something here. In order for that praise to come from your soul, your mind have to be working. The writer said, the song hymnologist said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. But my problem is, when do we? Y'all ain't gonna like me. You can't bless him by reverse osmosis. It can't just happen, it's got to be purpose. David talks about mm, God being merciful. Every one of us in this building have experienced the mercies of God. You don't have to tell me about it, but you know God didn't give you what you deserve. Y'all ready for this? I'm talking about since you've been saved. Preach, Bishop. One of the reasons that I have such joy is because my mind works well. I don't consider myself in any position that I belong in. Bishop, I'm still trying to wrap my head around all of this stuff. They keep calling me all these names and stuff. And I'm trying to figure out, what is Floyd doing there? <laughs> Y'all ain't got that. You see, one of the things I was telling my first vice that he asked me some questions. He said, well, I got to pray about it. I don't make decisions because of the position. The Bible said, in all of thy ways. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm praying and asking God for direction. 
You are too great a people to have somebody leading you by reverse osmosis or whatever comes through their mind. Now, can I tell you this? Bishop and Lady Robinson, my wife is correct. They don't look like they have been old enough to do something for 32 years. Don't they? But what they went through during that time does not show up. Oh, yeah. If he gave some of his testimony, some of us wouldn't believe it because he don't look like somebody said it's what you've been through. David is saying to the church, God is plenteous in mercy. Isaiah said he will abundantly pardon. All I'm trying to indicate this morning is we don't need to put on for nobody because God had made it possible for us to be high in harmony with him. Somebody said to me, Bishop said, uh, Apostle, you, you tell too much about yourself and the things God brought you out of. I said, why wouldn't I tell it? He said, well, people don't need to know all that. They do need to know it. Now, let me, let me give you an idea, the reason that the Lord brought this to me a number of years ago. My son is about 11 years old, and I was getting on him about something, and I said, I know what you're doing, and told him what he was up to. He said, Daddy, how do you know so much about me? I said to him, I used to be 11. You know what his response was? You were. He only knew me as an adult. I had to rethink my whole relationship with him because I had to let him know that I came from where you are. There are people that are pretending, and I ain't talking about you, unless I'm talking about you. They're pretending that they're in a certain place with God. You don't have to pretend because God wants you to be in a place with him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I might have told you this before, but let me tell you again. You, you, you know, when God begins to move you into your destiny, everybody ain't happy about it. Everybody don't want to see you move forward. There are people that think that they should have been there. Let, let me just give this to you. And I promise I ain't going to keep you all long. But, but, but Joseph was gifted by his father. Didn't ask for a coat. His father gave it to him. But because his father gifted him, his brother got angry with him. Bishop, you got brother who get angry with you for what God gave you. You didn't go after it. God brought it to you. Am I making sense to you? But the fact of the matter is, whether they like it or not, I had one of the bishops come and tell me, he said, you don't deserve to be the presiding bishop. I say, but I am. <laughs> How in the world can they decide what God wants for me? Hallelujah. My wife would tell you, they, they told me, said, uh, uh, those that were supportive me said, you need to campaign. I said, no, I ain't going to do that. She said, well, you, you got to be voted on. I said, but you don't understand what the scripture says. The scripture said the lot is cast into the lap, but the dispensing there is of God. I ain't going to do all of that. Because if it's for me, I mean, so the church said, we're going to pray that you win. I said, don't do that. Pray that God's will will be done. Are y'all hearing me? What I'm trying to indicate to you is that when you begin to think on the mercies of God, Paul said in Romans 12, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God that you present your body a living sacrifice. In other words, 
I have to always be mindful of how merciful God has been to me, then I am not so easy to ride somebody else's neck. Y'all get that on Tuesday. We got to stop being so judgmental of people. I had a sister to say to me, he said, Brother X is sitting here in the church and you don't even know how he's living. I said, you leave him alone. Where is he? He's in church. Duh. <laughs> That's just like saying a person go to the hospital because they got a broke leg. Say, get him out of here till he gets better. Why would you fish in a pond where there's no fish? My wife and I were in uh, the Holy Land and went to the Dead Sea. Not one fish line was in the water. Say why. It's dead. <laughs> what I'm saying to you, the church is a hospital. We want people to come like they are, but leave like God has transformed their lives. Can I preach a few minutes? Now watch this. Aren't you glad that God does not remain angry with us? You, you, you got to understand this. Even when God is upset with us, he doesn't kill us, he chastises us. He. Are y'all hearing me? Now, when I was a boy, my mother would say stuff like, boy, I brought you in this world and I'll take you out. Some of y'all had mamas like me. And my mother would take that strap and go way back, look like the Mississippi before she'd bring it to me. <laughs> but when I became a parent, I understood that between Mississippi and me, there was some mercy. She didn't hit me with all of that. Y'all ain't helping me. The correction is what he wanted. God is not trying to get rid of you. Somebody this morning feel that God is angry with them and that they can never have a relationship with him again. God is only trying to bring you back into relationship with him. Can I preach a few minutes? Don't you understand that if God mm, wanted to get rid of us, he could just speak us out of existence. God does not have to put up with me, but because he loves me, he corrects me, he holds me in the hollow of his hand. Even when the shepherd would break the lamb's sheep, he'd pick up the sheep and carry it until it's healed. Am I helping anybody? I'm going to get you all out of here so you all let me come back again. And here's what he says. And I'm going to conclude this and go on into the gospel if we're going to get out of here. He says, for as high as the heaven is above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Now, can I tell you something? Everybody that has fallen does not want to be down in the dirt. Oh, y'all ain't helping me. There are those that were overtaken. But because, y'all ain't gonna like this, we want to remain so pure in the eyes of others, we withdraw ourselves from those people. But we've got to understand that God puts you in the body so that you can assist those that are weak. I could, you, you know what they named me? I was pastoring in St. Louis, and they said, uh, Pastor Nelson, anybody you want to get rid of, send him to him. he take everybody. They, somebody said to me, you ought to stop him. No, they're advertising for me. I have a ministry of reconciliation. Y'all ain't helping me. I'm not trying to get people out of the church. I'm trying to get them in it. And I believe when the gospel is preached, it will turn men's mind around. 
It turned yours around. Preach, Bishop. Let me conclude. In the 12th verse, he says, and as far as the east is from the west, so far, please stop. Has he removed our transgression from us? Did y'all get that? All the stuff that people are remembering that you have repented of, and they are recalling it. The Lord says, I have moved it so far from you that it can never get to where you are. I, yes. Glory to God. You think that I'm going to sit and act strange when God has delivered me. And I got a reason to give God some glory. Oh, God, I thank you. He's moved it mm, so far away from me. Now, watch this. There are people, Bishop, that will try to recall the stuff. Because they are living in your past, not you. When God began to bless us and we had just bought a new church that would seat about 1,500 people, made me a district elder, and one of the pastors came to me and said, you ain't all of that. There ain't no news. I already knew that. See, people can only get to you if you think you're on the level of what they're trying <laughs> then he started telling me some of the stuff that he thought he knew about me. And so when he got, I said, you through? He said, yes. I went to the dance. He said, what's wrong with you? I said, you reminded me of how good God is. <laughs> I'm not going to let nobody mm, pull me back into my past. God said, I've delivered you. All of us have done this. Have you ever asked God to forgive you for something and still feel guilty and went back another time and said, God, forgive me? Anybody there beside me? Well, the Lord said to me, when you ask me, I told you, if you confess your sins, I'm faithful and just to forgive you your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So when you ask me forgiveness, I moved it away. And not only that, I moved it out of the shot of my memory. God is literally saying, when you say a second time, he's saying, what are you talking about? I wish I had some praises in here. You're trying to tell me after God has been as good to me as he's been, <laughs> that I should sit down and act like heaven is broke, the angels are on welfare? I don't think so. <laughs> I got a reason to give God praise. <laughs> look, look at the text. <laughs> In the eighth chapter of the book of uh, John, <laughs> the Bible said it was around feast time, <laughs> it was around the time when they put up their little huts <laughs> and they would recall the coming out of Egypt. <laughs> when they had to live in the little shanties. And uh, the Bible said that when these men, and I believe that they set this woman up, the strange thing is they brought the woman, but where was the man? If she was guilty, he was guilty. Can I preach a few minutes? There are folk that want to put their finger on you. And they got four fingers on themselves. <laughs> Y'all didn't get that. <laughs> Don't you worry about folk talking about you. <laughs> because the more they talk about you, people are going to see the change in your life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a wonderful change <laughs> in my life has been wrought <laughs> since Jesus <laughs> came into my life. <laughs> I, uh, I got a reason to give him praise. Somebody give God some glory. The Bible says that they brought the woman. Said she was taken in the very act. Well, uh, I want to 
I tell you that all of us <laughs> that had to confess, <laughs> we were in the very act. Y'all don't want to help me. <laughs> don't worry about the opinions of people <laughs> because they don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. <laughs> Let me tell you when I stopped worrying about people, <laughs> when I found out <laughs> that all power, <laughs> y'all ain't gonna help me. <laughs> Somebody say all power <laughs> is in his hand. Thank you. <laughs> and <laughs> when I found out <laughs> that you don't have no power over my life, <laughs> I stopped worrying about you. <laughs> start talking to the Lord and saying, Lord, what would you have me to do? Concern yourself with pleasing God. What shall I render? I feel a dance coming on. What shall I render? to God for all of his benefits unto me. I, uh, I heard somebody saying, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all, well, you got a better mind than me. I was baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost 71 years ago. I can't remember uh, all these done. <laughs> but he woke me up this morning. <laughs> Say, uh, <laughs> Say uh, 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 yes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm going to praise him for it. <laughs> the Bible said <laughs> the woman stood there <laughs> when they told Jesus. <laughs> the Bible said. <laughs> He started writing <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Can I get a witness? <laughs> Come here, my brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stand with me. <laughs> There's always going to be <laughs> somebody <laughs> to talk against you. <laughs> Have you noticed <laughs> the people that talk against you? <laughs> They're cowards. <laughs> they won't do it by themselves. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> they want uh, <laughs> somebody else with them. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I say it all the time. <laughs> Talk about me. <laughs> I can use the publicity. <laughs> Keep on talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Bible said, God, I thank you that the woman, come here, baby, stood in the midst. Of, are y'all hearing me? Sometime it looked like the crowd outnumber who's with you. But if Jesus is with you, he's more. than the world against you. Can I preach a few more minutes? The Bible said Jesus didn't have a discussion. He knelt down on the ground and started writing. They kept on questioning. Jesus stood up. He said, well, fellas, you're right. The law said stoner, so we going to stone her. But hold it, before you throw a stone, you got to qualify. Say yes. The Bible said he went back down and started writing on the ground. I don't know what he wrote on the ground, but let me just use my imagination. They're trying to act like they're pure. They got the woman there. He might have wrote Mary Magdalene. 
Y'all ain't gonna help me. <laughs> she was a noted harlot <laughs> before Jesus got in touch with her. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he might have wrote <laughs> Haggai, <laughs> Martha. <laughs> Are y'all getting the picture? <laughs> when he got through writing, <laughs> he didn't even look up. <laughs> The eldest uh, dropped his rock, <laughs> go on to your seat, son, <laughs> and headed to his seat. <laughs> go on, boy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> are y'all noticing uh, <laughs> when uh, <laughs> the eldest left, <laughs> then the next one uh, <laughs> dropped his rock? <laughs> go on, boy. <laughs> are y'all getting in? Uh, <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and the young one, <laughs> he know he couldn't stand by himself. <laughs> he dropped his rock <laughs> and he left. <laughs> if I was going to preach that this morning, <laughs> my subject would be <laughs> drop your rock. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I tell you, and I'm going to close, the Bible said, Jesus looked up, he said to the woman, where are your accusers, and the only one that could have legitimately accused her was Jesus, but he turned to the woman, he said, where are your accusers, she said, Father, I don't have any, he said, neither do I, go, and sin no more, because of mercy, because of mercy, I'm free to go. I shouldn't have been loose, but mercy found me. Say, I'm free. God, I thank you. Come here, son. Hey, and I need you. Come on up. And I'm going to close because of mercy. I'm free to go. Stand shoulder to shoulder. This side. Just like that. Sideways. Get to his shoulder. I want you to know. Y'all follow me. Everywhere I go, I'm never alone. Y'all ain't going to help me. Folk want to feel sorry for you. But no. <laughs> Never alone. <laughs> Even <laughs> when I stumble, I, I fall, <laughs> but I don't hit the ground. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> and mercy <laughs> shall follow me. <laughs> The Bible says, Yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Y'all ain't helping me. Goodness and mercy. Let me tell y'all something. And I'm going to close. <laughs> when uh, I'm in trouble <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the enemy says, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> You're in the middle of something <laughs> and you can't get out. <laughs> You've fallen <laughs> and you can't get up. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> he's a liar. <laughs> God won't leave you without some help. Yeah. He 
said it to me too late. I already knew goodness was there. Well, goodness is there when I do things the right way. Mercy is there when I don't cross the T, when I don't dot the I. So every time I fall, they catch me. And you know what I do? I'm going to let y'all go. But as long as God got you protected, as long as goodness and mercy is there with you, I don't care what the enemy brings in your face. It doesn't matter. Great up. Oh, right up. Brother Ring, I'm going to go to my seat, but you got to keep in mind, because of mercy, yeah, I'm free to go. The woman knew she was facing death. She knew what the law said, but Jesus took the spirit of the law and extended mercy. Look at you today. You ought to be in your grave. Some of y'all ought to be dead with all you put your body through. But because of mercy, oh, Hey, be call of mercy. Hallelujah. I'm going to take my seat. But you've got to understand, when you give God glory, it's got to come from your soul. Every once in a while, you ought to look back. How I got over. Oh, how I got over my soul. Y'all ain't looking back. Somebody ought to look back over your life. See where God has brought you from. Somewhere in there, you ought to have a praise. Somewhere in your memory. Put your hand together. Put your hand together. Put your hand together. Come on. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. You are. Everybody's standing. You have to learn to give God praise, but it don't make no sense at all.
Hallelujah. Come on and stand with me. Come on, stand with me. Everybody's standing. Everybody's standing. Somebody, Bishop Robinson asked me, said, I know how broke you are. Why are you praising God like that? Hey, you broke. I'm on my way to my wealth. He promised not one to him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask. I don't praise God for where I am. I praise him for where he's taking me. Now, watch this, and, 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 and I'm going to close, but watch this. You confuse the devil when the king of Israel had three armies that was come against him. And the Lord told him through the prophet, I got this. <laughs> He said, the battle is not yours, it's mine. Now, what confused the enemy, they heard Israel singing the victory song before the battle. Somebody got it. Somebody got it. Hallelujah. All right, I'm gonna let, let me let me let y'all go. But just one last thing. Tell your neighbor, say, no, don't you know? Shackled by a heavy burden Beneath a load of guilt and shame Then the hand of Jesus touched me the same he touched me oh he touched me and oh, oh the joy that 
flood my soul Something Something happened And now I know He touched me And he made me oh, oh, oh. The altar is open he touched me. What do you need God to do in your life? Come on, ministers. Come on, ministers. Come on. Let us pray with you. Whatever your need is, God will meet it this morning. Come on. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed to come. Come on. We're going to pray with you. Come on. Come on. God let you go because of mercy. Come on. Let us pray with you. He touched me. Come on. Oh, he touched me. Come on, come on, come on. That flood my soul. Come on, let us pray with you. Something, something, something happened. Something happened. God will meet your need. And I know, I know. He touched me. He touched me. And he made me come on. Me. Me. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. He touched me. Touch me. Oh, 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 oh. he touched me. Touch me. And oh. Joy Come on. That floods my soul is something. Something happened. And now, now I know she Jesus touched me and he made he made me whole he touched me oh he touched me and oh the joy that flood my soul. I can't explain it, but something, something happened. And now, now I know that she just touched me. And he made, he, he made me whole. Something, something happened. And now, now I know something, something happened. And now. 